Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful Autumn Time Painting Together. Now today we're really going to work on the structure of the bridge. That's what you guys voted for, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll start working on the autumn colors probably next time. For now we'll get the structure going and have a lot of fun with that. All right, let's get started. Now as you can see here, I have a bit of a messy sketch on the canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and start filling it in. Like sometimes it takes work to get the a sketch that looks nice, so I worked at it. I kind of made it, I did a little experimenting and made it the way that I wanted it to be here. And honestly, you're not locked in. Let me show you my palette here. This is a clean palette today. There. All right. Okay, so see, I'm filling this in with just a light, a light gray. And back here, we're going to do trees. We may or may not just throw some light trees in there. Probably won't get to the autumn colors just yet, although we're, we're close there. Now, you can think about maybe they want the land sloping. You've got to have sloping land, so there we go. So maybe with the thought of that land sloping, I'll fill in this. And with the thought of the land sloping, maybe I'll you know, fill in somewhere like that. Okay, good. And then right over here, I just want to, let's see, our light's obviously coming across like this, but you have to think about the perspective on the bridge. It feels like maybe right about here, because you don't want to be staring flat straight onto the bridge. That would look horrible. Instead, you want to give yourself a little bit, just a little bit of perspective here. Just a little bit. That's what that dark will do for us. Good. Now I'm going to just really quick work on some trees. I wasn't really planning to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because, because it just will help me to sharpen the, uh, the, the bridge area. See that? This way I can kind of clean it up without having to have it go back to my sky color. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. That's, that's about all I need, really, just more of the color, and honestly, we can change these and cover them up. It doesn't, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference at this point. There. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise these trees up just by swirling here. This sky is long dry, and so this is pretty quick and easy. No, no worries here. Even if it's wet, there wouldn't be any worries. There you go. No matter what kind of a landscape we do, our bridge right in here is going to have to have some highlight. So why don't we get started on the stones today? We won't finish them, but let's take a little of our brown and white for starters. That's the first color. And I'm going to come in here and watch this. We're going to create little stones. Now, one thing you'll notice is it's very quick and they are not not all of them are individual. See how I do that? You don't want them all individual and you don't want them all the same size. And you definitely, definitely don't want them all the same color. Here's some blue and some red to create some sort of a beautiful purple color. Yeah, there you go. Okay, right in here. This is fun. We're going to spend a lot of our painting effort throughout this whole scene on the bridge. I need that to come all the way all the way out. You gotta have your highlights over the darks on this edge. And then on this edge, this is so important because if you don't do this, it's gonna look weird. Okay, there. See that? I don't even care about bricks at this point. I'm just needing to get that color right. Because this, the highlights coming across kind of this way, but this bridge is tilted. And it's not just straight on, so we can kind of see a little bit of this end, and we can't see any of this end, which is pretty great. Pretty great. There. Okay. I'm going to work at this a little more just by, by smudging, leaving some darks and lights. This is not difficult, but it's important that you, you be a little bit on the careful side. There. Now using our little pointed detail brush, I'm going to just sort of start figuring out some some of these little areas where the stones are put together. You know, the cracks. There. 
And I'm just using really black, a touch of brown to kill the black from just being pure black. You see how this works though? Isn't this cool? I'm maybe going a little bit looser than I want the end product to be because we're going to highlight each stone individually or most of them individually. So it's going to get busy. And so I don't want to, I don't want to tighten up just yet. There, we've just started this painting. I, there's no reason to have a finished bridge this early on. It's just probably not a good idea. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making it feel like a bridge made out of old stones. And that's all I want for now, just the feeling. We will highlight it and make it just right. Probably maybe next time, maybe a few episodes, who knows, it doesn't matter. There. Now really one of the last things I wanted to do up here is I'm just taking a detail brush this time and I'm sort of either one of two things, either adding my dark sin to this big tree or I'm adding smaller shrubs underneath. And the reason I say I don't know what I'm doing is because I don't know which, which one I want to make it eventually. And I probably won't mess around with this too much just yet. I just, before I get the bridge too completed, I wanted to get a lot of my background foliage done. Otherwise I probably wouldn't even do it today there. Mm, that is so cool. Just love that little brush because it makes these beautiful little individual effects. And if this is just a touch darker, then we can take the bridge and make it a lot lighter and make the contrast just unreal. It'll be so cool. You're going to love that. There. So we'll kind of treat these either like little shrubs growing sort of at the bottom and maybe these are further away or just simply as the darks of these trees. Either way, I want to run a couple of branches up. These can be dead branches. We may end up putting them inside the tree. It doesn't matter. There, because this is just easier to do now, difficult to do later. So do it now. Oh yeah, make sure it's a warm, beautiful color. This is going to be a warm painting. You guys wanted autumn. We are going to do autumn. And it is going to be bright. Talk about just like a lot of reds and yellows. It's just, you're going to love that. So make sure that Make sure that you're planning for that. I know a lot of you guys are following along with me. I'm painting this on your own. And also telling me how to paint it, so that's kind of fun. There. All right, well now it's your turn to vote. So the first option that we have here today is we'll really take this foreground and turn it into what feels like maybe a road to a farm or something. We'll have a lot of beautiful fences. We could even do white picket fence. I mean, you could do all sorts of cool things with this. So maybe like something that feels like a farm. Or we can do a lot of large trees, but we'll layer them in such a way to create just a massive amount of depth. Maybe this bridge is more in the forest that way, kind of a hidden bridge. That might be fun. Or what we can do is make the river even wider and really put a lot of emphasis in that. Maybe do a, a more detailed reflection of the, of the bridge into the water. Maybe just make more of the bridge the feature that way. So it's totally up to you. Now it's your turn to go to the website and vote for how you'd like to see this painting turn out. All right, well, that's all the work we're going to do on our little autumn time painting today. I hope you really enjoyed seeing how the bridge went in and all the detail that goes with that. Now, don't forget to go to the website and vote for how you'd like to see this painting continue. Thanks for watching.